So Abangile, tell us, what do you want to study? I want to study computer science at the University of Cape Town. <laughs> I know. So hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Abongile Nguhia and I am a computer science student at the University of Cape Town and I'm just sharing my experience with it. And I'm also advising people who are going into this major. I hope you guys enjoy today's video because I mean, I realized, hey, so like a lot of my friends have been asking me, oh, you know, what is your YouTube channel about? You know, um, tell us, what is it about? I'm like, guys, I'm advising people to go into computer science. And they're like, why would you do that? You know, because computer science is kind of not what I've been telling you, you know, there are bad sides of it and there are so many good sides of it. But today, I am actually telling you five reasons why mm -mm, mm -mm, you shouldn't choose computer science at UCT. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And let's get into it. The first reason is kind of obvious. It is kind of difficult. It is very complicated, very complex, very challenging. It is challenging, very complicated. But before I, I explain this point, I just want to say that um, just because it's complicated doesn't mean it's impossible. You can still do it. Look at me. Look at me. I am standing and I'm still going to stand and I'm still going to create more. Like I'm still going to stand more, you know. So... I just want to say that obviously it is kind of difficult, but um, you can still do it, you know. Computer science is so difficult in so many ways. <laughs> Number one, it's more difficult for somebody who has zero coding experience, zlish, nothing, don't know. Like your first line of code was done in the University of Cape Town or at any university, it's going to be kind of difficult for you. Like I can, I can relate and say that it took me three full weeks to understand first um first week's content you know that's how difficult it was for me the theory the words the code like the lining the indenting all of that like you need to understand they expect you to know that by now so you have to also go through your own research um like try to find out what is expected in that language i wish i knew that like i wish i had prepared before i came to um to study like guys, uh, but I'm still gonna give you um, tips on how to be better, like going into a university with no coding experience, just to understand the language. Like I wish I did a research on the language, like Python, because our first language was Python. I want to like understand where the language comes from, like how the language goes. And you know, to understand the background means that you also understand where you're going with this. So it's very complicated, the words, the overwhelming work. Like that's how complicated it was for me. Yeah, so otherwise, I mean, Theory over practice. Like maybe I might be rushing things here. Yeah, maybe we're still gonna get to the part where we make projects, but guys, we're kind of learning theory here. Like we're kind of learning. Okay, there are practicals, there are assignments where you code, but it's more of coding, um, coding over the theory that you've learned that week. For example, you're gonna learn. Uguti, we have things that are called for loops. We have things that are called while loops. I'm gonna make this example with for loops because yay, yeah, that 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 topic really did show show me flames because yeah yeah i just didn't understand that so they're gonna show you um like theory over four loops like while loops anything like i'm just big, taking an example i'm just making an example but you're gonna be like okay i understand that four loops are for iterating you know for repeating things but am i gonna use this when creating a machine am i gonna use this when creating a an app or a game or whatever where in the app how in the app you know i just want something 
practical i like well like i learn through practicals like i learn through making things like for example in physics you like sometimes the the the, the, the processes titration whatever you learnt it through going through chemi chemi um what's this labs or something like through practice you know you were doing the chemicals you put it in and you see it was all oh, the color changed to blue the color changed to white you learn through practicals so i i would like like for the universities to actually try to make things practical not to go through the theory and also in that point is that i'm starting to remember things is that also um Guys, this theory that we're learning, it, people from last day learned the same thing. People from the previous year learned the same thing. So it's kind of like nothing new. And the lectures are repeating exactly what they've been teaching 10 years ago. So you're nothing different from somebody from last year. So that's why I want to say, Wuzi, can they please kind of like, you know, do something. Like, let's do something. Let's make a project. Yeah. So theory over um, practicals is kind of another reason why i say don't study computer science but i mean i mean imposter syndrome <laughs> that one is a big one that one is a big one like you'll be sitting in class or in practicals and be like why the hell did i choose this what came over you girl like why like what were you trying to do let's let's talk let us talk what were you trying to do what were you trying to achieve who were you trying to impress like you thought you could sit here you know these are the only things that are running through your mind and not getting the theory because i mean you'll be sitting in class and people will be asking so miss um the loops that they uh 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 yeah. <laughs> girl come down <laughs> But another thing that I realize is that people pretend better. Like, we are all going through the most, but some people pretend better. So don't ever compare yourself to other people because you might think the person is understanding, but now you're as vanilla now. Like, the person is the same as you. They don't understand, but they pretend better. So don't ever compare yourself. Don't ever think you're unworthy to be there. Like, you deserve to be there just as much as the person who asked the question deserves to be there. So just do your work research learn ask questions ask for help it's there like ask for it don't ever feel because it's your first time it's your first time learning like how are you going to learn this like who who was going to tell you because you're coming from another school right who was going to tell you so creating your projects now i have mentioned in my previous point that the theory that you guys are learning or the guy the guys we are learning <laughs> is theory that it was taught 10 years ago right so there's nothing different between you and the person from 10 years ago like you're not different so what will actually make you different is by creating projects and you need to learn the language to create pro to create projects. Guess who's gonna teach you the that um, language? Yeah, it's you. You have to teach yourself that language while trying to save the semester. You know, it's kind of like that. But I don't have a problem with creating projects. But it's just that the work is kind of too much that you don't have time to create your own projects but another thing is what i realized is what you put your mind um you're gonna achieve so you have to like be disciplined enough to say no by saturdays i'm creating my projects monday to friday i'm busy with my books like i said i think i, I did say this in my um in my first video or second video but i did say something about like discipline and scheduling your life that you know what on monday to friday i'm actually create um um pushing pushing my course you know and then Saturdays and Sunday uh -uh, I'm not touching anything with the course I'm doing my projects because guys you really need to have projects before you graduate I'm still gonna go through like I'm still gonna research more I haven't done one so but I I want to do like I want to do so many and I'm I am and I am so I'm still gonna research um I'm still gonna research more on like how many projects what type of projects um you need to make in order to um to land your dream job at a tech company 
so yeah another difficult thing is the future the future of creating projects and you know you can't just you unfortunately your undergraduate um degree will not cut it will not lend you your dream tech job but you need to create ex um projects that will make you gain experience so creating projects Thank you so much, Abogile, for applying for this tech company. Can you tell me what projects have you done? I've done four fully functional websites, three apps, one game, and a successful YouTube channel. <laughs> Hired. My last point is debugging. <laughs> now, I personally find this... Um, very frustrating it is frustrating but sometimes really funny because your mistakes might be the most basic thing ever like you could be missing a comma you could have spelled something wrong or um your your the letter or the words bega began with a capital letter it wasn't supposed to and we have the most crucial thing in the world called automark let me display what Otomaka does with this example. <laughs> Miss, what do you mean I got zero for this assignment? I did exactly what you asked me to do. My program is running correctly in my IDE. What do you mean I got zero? Yes, your program, perfectly fine. But the question says, enter the number with a capital T. Did you write a capital T? Hmm? Ah, capital letter T, small letter T, same thing. What do you mean, miss? Huh? <laughs> I won't get it, darling. I want what I want. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, um, that's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as i enjoyed making it yeah and keep on liking commenting oh my god your comments just make my day like literally they just make my day i always tell my roommate oh look at this look at this it just motivates me to you know keep on pushing yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't oh my god if you haven't because in this channel it only gets better so I'll see you on the next one. Bye.